Hey there, this is Chetan and let's create a propeller. To create a propeller, you need to add the cylinder with the 8 words. Then go to the edit mode, select this face loop and then E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal in this way. Then turn on the transform pivot point to the individual origin and then scale it along the x and y axis. Then change the transform pivot point to the bounding box and then rotate it into the small degree. After that you need to add the center loop cuts like this. Then turn on your x-ray mode and with the cross selection select these edge loops and then rotate them into the small angle. Then Ctrl B add a bevel on them. You need to add two segment bevel at there and give the right bevel width. So we will get the curve blades. After that you need to rotate this bottom words little bit in a small angle. Then you need to deselect the words like this and then rotate them into the small angle. Just rotate them. Just rotate them. You need to create a pretty good curve structure at there for the blade. So that's why you need to select these edge loops and you need to rotate them into the small angle because we want a pretty good decent looking curve form on the blades. So refine the form of the blade. Then you can select the form and then scale it along the z-axis. After that you need to add the sub modifier and you need to start to add the loop cuts on it. Supportive loop cuts to maintain the good form. So just with the insert each loop add supportive loop cuts. Then you can add two loop cuts like this. Then select these face loops with the shortest path selection to create a design on the blade. Then use the insert operation then extrude along the normal and then press alt s to scale it down and scale it along the z axis little bit. And then use the insert operation one more time and then add a support to loop cuts to maintain the good form. So you can create a decent looking design. Now the blade looks really well. But to maintain the good curve form, we need to add the support to loop cuts like this and we need to weld the words. Means we need to create the right topology. So add the loop cuts like this. And then add few loop cuts like this. And then select the words and then weld them. And then you can select these edge loops and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. So we can maintain the good curve form on the blade. Then we want to create the center part of the propeller. So that's why you need to add one more cylinder with the 16 words. And then try to create a decent looking design at there. Play with the form of the cylinder. I'm using simple insert, extrude and transform operations at there to create that form. And easily you can create decent looking design. Just create a few holes at there so it will looks really well with the loop tool. And then take the symmetry along the z axis. And you can see that looks really well. There you go, you got a decent looking design, decent looking propeller. So in this way we can create this kind of propeller. So that's it for today, thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye, so next video, take care.